Hi there, Kristen and Joseph. I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Um, this is your video lesson uh, for 927. Um, so uh, three things I want to go over today. Uh, one being a uh, left hand pointer man. Uh, number two, uh, something else to work on for, with our twinkle surprise. And then number three, um, just some right hand uh, kind of maintenance stuff. Um, so we'll go down point by point. Uh, so the first thing is uh, last time uh, we made a breakthrough with um, Joseph using his pointer finger on his brand new dot over here on the second string. Uh, so good on that. Um, so what I'd like you to do is continue working on targeting and getting that on and off. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take a little like something like a pen like I usually do and uh, draw a dot right on the tip of his finger. And you know, once he gets in good sitting position, um, is I want you to have him practice kind of maybe like dropping his hand and seeing if he can go like thumbs up, moon fingers, and then and then put his pointer man uh, dot or target on the on his new dot. Um, and you know you know, roll a die or you know do some sort of game that I do like maybe have him run to the chair and sit down and see if he can get his pointer finger on there, um, or even have him just like sleepy hand, thumbs up, moon fingers, and then. And then put his finger on the dot. I, mean, it, it, I wouldn't even, maybe not even have him like worry about this over here. Uh, maybe just have him really just working on here and then bringing it up and getting on his tip right there. You'll probably see stuff like this, like the finger seeking, seeking back there. Let's just work, concentrate this week on getting just on the tip of that finger right there and worry about the worry about this stuff later on. We're alternating between the two fingers. Um, that'll be maybe a game we'll do next time. So, yeah, so finger on, finger off, sleepy arm, sleepy hand, up to thumbs up, up to moon fingers, and then on, off, on, off, on, off, right on his bullseye. You know, give him like, you know, maybe roll a die or something, or ask Alexa, and, uh, you know, if there's a five times, and then, you know, he gets me this game piece or something, or he gets something cool, uh, add something onto this board or something. Um, cool, so that's why I want you to work on with his left hand. Uh, right hand with another right, the left hand thing I want you to work on is um is with his twinkle surprise uh what i want you to do is um and he's pretty good at it but i want to make sure that we're all moving in the right direction is when he gets his ring finger on his on his dot right and plays his twinkle surprise and then right here while a lot of times the kids will let go and then come back for like that right there what we want to do is we want to keep his finger arched right now that we're talking about first finger, now it's time to kind of maybe polish up his middle, uh, his ring finger a little bit. You bring that finger up, you get it right on his on his target, on his bullseye, and the finger should be a circle finger. So if you need to go back and practice circle fingers this week for a reminder, um, then do that as well. So make his perfect circles, and if he makes his perfect circle there on his on his dot on his for his ring finger, when he goes to play the E string, see if you can keep that finger down without lifting off. So it goes. And see how I didn't have to lift my finger off? Um, now that he's starting to get more arched, we don't have to worry about that him lifting off so much, keeping that finger arched onto the string, onto the fret. Um, cool, I want you to work on that. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. Oh, I guess with that one too, make sure that E string rings out still. Uh, so if you play the, the, the uh, third finger there and then E, E, it'll still ring through. If it doesn't, he's 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 rolled this down a little bit and got off his his uh his circle figure. Right, and then the other thing that I want you uh that you, want you both to work on is uh, just practicing our moonwalks, continuing that, um, making sure he can moonwalk. So maybe call out B string or have him do run over to his chair um, and play moonwalks on on G. Call out moonwalks on on uh, on B, and then moonwalks on E. And, you know, make that a game so we can call it just different strings. It'd be good for him just to review the string names. Um, a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition with that. Um, if you find the open strings are, are pretty easy, that he's getting those rapidly and not not confusing them, uh, then maybe move into uh, move into the colored dots. So maybe put the ring man one, see if you can do his moonwalks on ring man, or do his moonwalks on his brand new finger. So if you find that he's getting that pretty easily, right, and you think he's ready for the next next challenge, if he's getting that on and off without too much trouble, maybe even have him try to do some moonwalks on that one right there. Um, 
Um, and then other thing too, I didn't write down here, maybe I'll add it too before I send it over to you, is, um, is we need to start identifying uh, different sections in Twinkle, like the Twinkle bread, the Twinkle cheese, and the Twinkle bread. Um, so remind me next week, we'll talk more about that in the lesson. We'll, I'll actually play it for him and see if he can identify the different parts of the tune. Um, and that goes more to like a deep listening sort of thing. Um, but we'll talk about that next time though. All right, that's all I have for you for today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message back. Um, I don't mind answering any questions at all. And if not, I will see you uh, at normal time next week. All right, take care.